Thank you for listening to Lone Star Community Radio. This program was broadcasted and recorded live from the LSCR studios in downtown Conroe, Texas. Lone Star Community Radio is supported by listeners like you. Donate and sponsor today. For more information on getting involved with Lone Star Community Radio, contact us at lscrstudios at gmail.com or visit us online at www.irlonestar.com. A continuación, Voces en Acción, el programa comunitario que informa a la comunidad latina. Voces en Acción, la verdad en acción. Voices in Action, the truth in action. Now, con ustedes, Jenny Ibarra. Buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches, donde quiera que usted esté. Jenny Rosales nuevamente con la información para podérsela traer clara, objetiva y al mismo tiempo ayudarlo a reconocer los lugares donde usted puede conseguir asistencia, donde pueda conseguir ayuda, sea a nivel de Texas, a nivel de Estados Unidos, a nivel del mundo, donde se pueda conseguir la información para dársela. Sé que trabajo en Texas, trabajo en Conroe, pero al mismo tiempo me dedico en ayudar a aquellas personas que necesitan. Y mis shows durante el año casi que vamos a tener, se han enfocado a poder ayudar a la comunidad en todo sentido. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Good afternoon, good day, whatever you are. I hope you're having a blessed day. A Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Uh, Jenny Rosales again with Voces en Acción, bring you the latest information to update you on the things that are going around in the community, uh, whether it affects you or whether it's a worldwide information or whatever it is, that will, you will have to take the wise decisions in order for you to make your daily living. Today, I first of all, before I start, I'm going to go ahead and give, you, give a shout out to, our, to one of our sponsors, um, First Financial Bank. Uh, they have been with us for a long time. First Financial Bank has the catered individual catering to each one of your needs, whether it's uh, buying a house, buying a car, getting a loan for your students, or getting a loan for yourself personally. You can speak with one of them, one of their officers, anybody in within the banks. There's so many there's so many locations within Conroe, Huntsville, uh, Montgomery, in, area, in, in some areas in the area of Spring, Woodlands. Please contact them. The one I'm going to give you a number is um, 936-439-1800, 936-439-1800. But see, right now what I'm going to say, First Financial Bank has a program for people that do not have a social security that are wishing to have a dream house, that, that their dream is to have a house. If you don't have a social security number, regardless of where you're from, you can contact them as well. If you have an ITN number, they will be able to work with you and get you your dream house and, and a loan for up to $400,000. Believe me, that right there is a plus, okay? In my times, that was not available. Now you guys have it. Talk to Susie Woods. Call her. Let her know that you're interested in that program. She's the vice president for finance. There's so many people working with her and helping you. The same thing, uh, contacting them is at the same thing, making sure that you're having the backup of a bank that is FDIC approved okay that means the federal government is backing them up at the same time you're safe on your savings you're safe on your checking accounts you're safe on everything so again the phone number is 936-439-1800 vamos a hablar en español ahora y darle la gracia a nuestro procesador eh, la señora Susie Woods siempre se comunica con nosotros desde First Financial Bank First Financial Bank está con nosotros por muchos años ellos están invirtiendo en el área de la comunidad de Montgomery, en Conroe específicamente. Y están ayudando a todos los latinos a tener el sueño de tener su propia casa mediante un ITIN number. O sea, que si usted no tiene seguro social, no necesita tenerlo. Ellos le pueden ayudar con un ITIN number para que puedan darle un préstamo para que usted pueda conseguir una casa. Y ese es el sueño de todos los que venimos y emigramos. Queremos tener nuestro dream home. Okay, o nuestra casa soñadora, la que, donde va a tener su espacio, donde tiene sus cosas privadas para usted. Pero ¿sabe que First Financial Bank lo puede hacer y tan fácil con una sola llamada. Llame a la señora Susie Woods al 
7 al 936-439-1800. Nuevamente es 936-439-1800. Ellos le van a hacer posible su sueño de conseguir su casa, de conseguir préstamos estudiantiles, conseguir préstamos personales, cuentas de banco, de ahorros. Ellos hablan y se encargan de dar esa especialización directa con usted, de uno a uno. Nuevamente, 936-439-1800. First Financial Bank es, está cerca del sueño suyo americano. Gracias. Tenemos ahorita la invitación que le hago para que se quede en este show y nos escuche, que esté con nosotros, porque vamos a hablar con el alcalde del Cirio Conroe. El alcalde del Cirio Conroe estuvo con nosotros y nos tuvo una conversación tan bonita con nosotros acerca de todo lo, todo lo que este año nos va a venir el 23-23, todo lo que el Cirio Conroe ha crecido, todo lo que él espera todo lo que han hecho mucha gente para poder mantener la unificación de la ciudad y tantos que vivimos aquí. Ponga atención a, ese, a, ese, a este show, por favor, se lo dedico como final de, como cierre de año, para que veamos cómo está nuestra ciudad y qué es lo que podemos nosotros darle a la ciudad. We're here today, our guest is our city major, Mr. Jody Shikowski. He has been here with us, giving us the updates of everything that is going in the city, everything that is being created by the council, all the money that is being used and how it's being used, how the projects are coming, and advices for the Hispanic community that are so handy to make our dreams as American. We need to unify all the communities, Black American, African Americans, Asians, Hispanics, and Anglos. We all live here under the same roof. Okay, because God gave us that roof. So at this point, we need to get along, work hard, and keep our dream. So I'm going to let you go and listen to the interview that I had with Jody Shkowski, our city major. And if you have any questions, again, contact us. Our phone number is 832-732-4744. 832-732-4744. Voces en Acción is here for our community as a service. We are a link of information. If you have any questions, and then giving a shout out to Lone Star Community Radio as well because they're always backing us up. Without Lone Star Community Radio, we would not be able to be in the show. So at this point, please join us, sponsor us, click on us and say li likes and listen to our webpage. Uh, we're in all the platforms and our phone number, I just gave it to you. Como digo, vamos a, a, a proceder ahorita a que ustedes puedan escuchar la entrevista con el, el alcalde, el eh, señor Jody Shikowski, pero quiero darle las gracias y si por favor se mantienen pat, eh, ayudándonos a patrocinarnos, a dar donaciones, a darnos likes, a pasar eh, la palabra de que nosotros estamos al aire. Eh, gracias a Lone Star Community Radio estoy yo aquí. Puedo trabajar con ustedes y darles la información. Mi número de teléfono nuevamente es 832-732-732-4744. Nuevamente, 832-732-4744 a su servicio para cualquier pregunta, cualquier cosa. Si tiene un, un invitado que quiere que venga este año a, nuestro, a nuestra producción para poder hablar con él, que sabe que está trabajando con la comunidad, por favor, llámenos. Muchísimas gracias. Los dejo entonces con la entrevista del señor Jody Chikowski, or City Major, y que pasen buenas tardes. Feliz Navidad. Thank you, and I let you guys talk, listen to our uh, interview with Jody Chikowski. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hey, this is Jenny from Voces en Acción. We're going to talk about one of our sponsors, First Financial Bank. Are you ready to make your dreams come true in home ownership? The new affordable mortgage program at First Financial Bank can be a great option for you and your family. We're here to help you. Call 936-439-1800. Again, 936-439-1800 and discover how can we assist you. The American dream is at your reach at First Financial Bank. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. Hola, les habla Jenny de Voces en Acción. Y hoy vamos a hablar sobre uno de nuestros patrocinadores, First Financial Bank. ¿Listo para hacer realidad su sueño de comprar su propio hogar? El nuevo programa hipotecario de vivienda accesible de First Financial Bank puede ser una opción excelente para usted y su familia. Están a sus órdenes llamando al 
936-439-1800. Nuevamente, el número es 936-439-1800. Y descubra cómo le pueden asistir. El sueño americano está a su alcance en First Financial Bank. Prestamista de vivienda equitativa, miembro FIDC. Good afternoon, good day, whatever you are. Thank you for joining us again, Voces en Acción, Jenny Rosales, your host, bringing you the latest information and at the same time, closing this year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to you guys. It's, um, we're, we're there, we're almost there, and this year, especially this show will be airing the 26th of December. So I'm closing the year with one of the, the most amazing guests that I could have bring to my table. It's, we're talking to a city major of Cornwall, Mr. Jody Chukowski, and he's over here giving us his time to share with the community and to give a message of unity among the whole community and continuing working with us. Buenas tardes, buenos días, donde quiera que usted esté. Voces en Acción nuevamente aquí para darle la información correcta eh, y darle a usted todos los datos, todo lo que pueda hacer usted eh, factible para poder tomar decisiones personales. Eh, ahora, en este año, este es mi último show y estoy dedicándolo, eh, primero que todo, feliz Navidad y próspero Año Nuevo. Y quiero que sepan que hoy traigo, cerrando el año, a la persona, uno de los, uno de los invitados más grandes que hay, nuestro alcalde, el señor Jody Chukowski. Él está aquí, él viene a hablar con nosotros, viene a hablar sobre lo que él está haciendo y lo que él ha hecho por Conro y cómo ha estado mejorando la situación y lo que está pasando, lo que va a pasar en un futuro que tenemos que esperar. Jody, thank you for being with us again, and I'm sorry. No. <laughs> We're having technical issues and everything, but you know, We're here for you, sir, and like I said in the beginning, um, I, in, the, in behalf of the Hispanic community and in behalf of myself, thank you for your work, great labor, for, because in your job, we are able to see what you're doing. It's nothing that, you know, I go out and I work, and people don't even think that I'm working, but when, when, it, when it's a major, we can see the progress of the city because of a major, well, and that's you. something that we really, really thank you. And I know you said my community is your community as well because your wife is Hispanic, but at the same time, we thank you because of the unity that you have brought to Conroe, yeah, sir. Absolutely. Well, thank you. And, and, hey, I'm honored. I think if you said I'm the most special guest, I, I know earlier this year you had uh, President Trump and President <laughs> Biden on here. <laughs> if I'm the most special one, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored for you to say that. Thank well, you, Jenny. I don't have – well, first of all, they didn't knock on my door. I don't think they will ever, but just <laughs> – And yes, you're I'm, special. I'm Trump, Kelly. You are special. All of my guests are special. I can tell you that, you know, but I really, really appreciate your time, sir, because you're really busy well, and taking you. the time to come in over here. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well, sir. The, the, the decision of bringing you in is uh, so we can talk about the things that have been done and the things that are going to be done in the couple of years coming up next that you are able to can foresee. And then since you're working with the council constantly and the budgets and everything, what can we expect? That's what we're looking for. It's going to be an amazing year. 20, I know. 2023 that. is going to be the best year ever in Congo. Ok, okay. Le, le digo que lo que estamos tratando de conseguir es la información de lo que va a pasar aquí en Conrad, cómo están las cosas que han pasado y todo lo que viene en el 2023. Eh, las cosas que son mucho mejores. Dice que este año va a ser muchísimo mejor que otros años. Eh, sir, in what type of impact? I know there's a lot of, there's growth, there's so much growth. This is the largest growing city in the United States right now. We're growing. In, I cannot imagine. It's so funny. When I came in 1993, this was... Okay, 93, yeah. I got here in 2000. <laughs> this was... Uh, I'm talking about woodies. It's like woods everywhere. Nothing. There was nothing, sir. And look at us right now. We're having even a higher regency that is going to come and bring, bring to the area. Um, can you tell us about that? I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, past council and, and myself, it's if you're looking to raise a family and you're looking to go to work or build a company or uh, have an innovative business, Conroe is the place to be. Uh, you know, my goal was to uh, help our community connect and, and be one of the most uh, innovative and dynamic cities in the country, and I think we're headed in the right direction. Le digo que hemos visto cómo le ha progresado, cómo ha hecho tantas cosas. Cuando yo llegué en el 93, esto no estaba así. Y en estos momentos hemos visto también el crecimiento y al extremo de tener que ya viene un hotel al área de nosotros, uno de los más grandes hoteles, allá arriba, sí, se va a crear un, se va a un centro de convenciones también. Están construyéndose. Eh, Conro, desde el 93 para acá, ha crecido 
enormemente. Es una de las ciudades que más auge ha tenido. La gente se viene, se mueve de otros estados para acá, para Texas, y usted lo ve, usted ve Hugh Halls a cada rato, todo el tiempo ve los hijos con los letreros de California y de Nueva York y todo el mundo viniéndose para Montgomery, para el área de Conroe. ¿Por qué? Porque ven que aquí hay, hay una situación estable. Y me dice que él, en la, en su, con, con, su, con su grupo de, de consejeros de la ciudad eh, pasados, y él desde que comenzó, eso fue lo que él comenzó a hacer, tratar que hubiera progreso en la ciudad de Conro, de manera que hubiera estabilidad para los, propios, los próximos años. Sir, when we're talking about the growth and the budget, and I know you sit down and about statistics and stuff, where is it that your major investors are coming from? Who is investing in Conro, as, as you see right now? And not only that, Is that private sector? Is governmental? What, yeah. what is it that, you know, or our taxes are paid? Can you tell us a little bit well, about a everything? A little bit of combination. I mean, most of your businesses coming from uh, out at the business park and the tech park are, are American companies that are relocating or expanding. Uh, most of your business owners in, say, downtown Conroe, which is, is just uh, on fire right now and, and, and has been ripe for redevelopment, mo most of those are, are local entrepreneurs. Uh, we've actually had two major business owners in the Conroe area sell their companies for multi-millions and then reinvest their funds into downtown Conroe. Uh, they've also helped uh, not only invest in the real estate, which is one aspect of the business, but also the uh, business as well. But, you know, a lot of communities look at bringing companies in uh, from other parts of the country and other parts of the state. But, you're but bringing we've really, local. we've done both. We've nourished our local entrepreneurs. And a lot of these are kids that are Uh, you know, we've got uh, Vietnamese uh, immigrants. We, we've got uh, uh, Latin, Latin American, uh, Mexican American. We have some uh, African American entrepreneurs that have opened shops on, in downtown in our Moco Food Hall. And it really looks the way, you know, America and, and Houston in general. A very diverse city. So it's like a, like a melting pot. That's what we're calling. It it, uh, it is. But uh, but I tend to think that we're much more uh, pro business and, and pro family than, than our, our neighbors uh, maybe to the south and, and to the north sometimes. Okay. Le pregunto que cómo ha estado dividido. ¿Dónde dónde están los fondos? ¿De dónde vienen todos los fondos de la ciudad? ¿De dónde se viene? Si viene del área de corporativa, si viene del área gubernamental o si viene de los impuestos de nosotros. Dice es un poco de todo. Pero lo que sí ha, ha sido un auge grandísimo en el área de downtown, es el montón de, de eh, entrepreneurs o nuevos empresarios que son, que tienen el dinero para invertir y han venido acá y se han abierto, han abierto compañías multimillonarias en esta área, de manera que están invirtiendo en el área de downtown, el, 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 personas por, eh, afroamericanas, eh, pueden ser eh, asiáticos, muchos asiáticos, este, latinos, un montón de latinos eh, que han venido y han invertido en esta área. Eso es lo que está haciendo que el crecimiento sea mucho más. Sir, and then, That's a part of it. And then I guess you're getting the big, big corporations as well, like uh, Conoco and, you know, Exxon and, you know, all of them, am I right? That are saying, that's, that are visualizing towards this area because they did it on, in Tumble now. So, in Tumble no, and, and, and in the Woodlands. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, Con Conroe in the past, you know, we were, we were uh, started as a, uh, as a rail switch town, you know, commerce and, and industry and, and had a huge timber uh, business. And then you had the oil boom here in the 30s, which created... Uh, most of the architecture in downtown Conroe, you had more millionaires per capita here in the late 30s than anywhere in the country. So a lot of the cool architecture and design and history and culture is still fruited in downtown Conroe. Exactly. And now people are starting to uh, revitalize that. But the area, you've always had good jobs in the, you know, retail, restaurant, a lot of tourism out on like, you know, more golf courses than most places in the country uh, per capita in, in this market. And we've got a lot of good uh, mid-level Uh, a lot of good oil field service, uh, oil field uh, manufacturing, uh, nursing, nursing uh, you know, of course, this the is medical a, a med field. medical exactly. hub. Uh, one thing I thought, Conroe, though, we, we, were, we were not getting a lot of the corporate companies that are offering the jobs in that, you know, hundred to a half a million dollar a year jobs. A lot of those jobs were going either to, to Houston, inner city, or going to our, our neighbors to the south in the woodlands. Mm -hmm. And so uh, uh, major point of, of building the high regency Uh, hotel and convention center mm -hmm. was to help help attract those corporate jobs. If you noticed in the Woodlands when they built the Marriott, mm -hmm. Anadarko came. And mm -hmm. what followed Anadarko? 
Exactly. Multiple, multiple other multiple other other exactly. Well, they are out of room, and they're a wonderful neighbor. Great restaurants, great venues for shopping and, and dining. And, and I really look at Conroe and the Woodlands and, and the I-45 corridor. We're, we're all in this together. I mean, we're brothers and sisters, and they have a couple of amenities that we enjoy. And, and exactly. oh, by the way, we've got a 26,000-acre lake up here that they really enjoy. They and, really enjoy. They know, come to us. Exactly. 160,000-acre national forest. And if you come to downtown Conroe now, and now in the evening, two live theaters, live music usually going on at, you know, six to seven different spots – multiple new restaurants, wineries, breweries, you know, if you're looking for entertainment and you want true history and culture, you know, not store-bought culture, come to Conroe, Texas. It is, uh, Él dice que básicamente él ve que el auge de crecimiento se ha enfrentado en el área de nosotros, por el área, por, por el pasado. Esta, Conroe, desde 1904, básicamente creo que están creados ellos, es 1904 when it was founded, am I right? Before my before time. Now, before, before our time. En 1904 fue creada, fue fundada, y era un tráfico, una ciudad donde había tráfico de, de lo que se llama el petróleo. Así que automáticamente había auge de entrada y salida. Y por eso la, la ciudad, cuando usted viene a la, ciudad, a la ciudad original, está todavía la ciudad original fundada, y ve el montón de edificios viejos que han sido renovados y que se están trabajando. Al, al mismo tiempo, en el, la gente ha venido de corporaciones como Exxon, y que han invertido en el área, por lo menos, de Woodlands. Eh, el, el barrio se abrió allá, en el área de Woodlands, se creó Woodlands, y es muy bonito, los recursos que ellos tienen es precioso, pero en Conro, en la 105, para el norte, tenemos uno de los lagos más naturales que hay. La gente vive en el lago, y en el lago, alrededor del lago, hay un montón de venues, un montón de lugares y restaurantes, donde de noche, hay una vida completamente nocturna. Lo mismo en el área de downtown, que se está comentando hace un auge. O sea, la gente está comenzando a buscar lugares de recreación familiar. Porque lo que pasa es que en Conro, la gente no solamente viene a invertir, sino vienen a quedarse y, a vi y viven allí. Ese es lo que dice el señor Jody. Es un, un, un grupo, de, una ciudad de grupo completamente familiar, donde la gente viene, invierte, viven aquí por años, se crecen aquí, sus hijos estudian y vuelven aquí a trabajar. And I'm telling them basically what you told me once. The people come, they do the investments, they live here, they raise their kids here, the kids go to school, and they come back and work here. It's, it, that's, that's what's happening any, right now. Any community, if you aren't building infrastructure for your kids and grandkids, you'll, you'll, you know, you'll be dead in the future. I mean, that's, uh, uh, you're only as good as that next generation. And, uh, You know, when I when I become got on council and uh, then became mayor, I've been involved here for about four years. And before that, it was strictly private side, which private is much different than, uh, than government. A, government, and, and exactly. I, and, and I've learned some lessons there. Uh, but the, the the point was, we had a lot of children in our area at that time. About 50 percent of our kids at Conroe High School, which is really what Conroe looks like, uh, uh, were you know economically at risk and and somewhat uh, disadvantaged uh, financially. So. What I've seen, you know, our, our, our west side is, is very beautiful, uh, higher end, uh, higher uh, socioeconomic level. And where Conroe originally started, a lot of these children, you know, unfortunately, they don't, they, they don't have uh, fathers like me. And, I mean, exactly. And we talk about exactly. issues in our country, it's, it's a breakdown of the family structure. The and family then now without everybody's crossing, sir, the immigration affecting us because it's an immigration coming in, and you know that. And that, that there's... There's people in the streets, and we see we see that. But the thing is that it's not we cannot contain that. We need to help them, and they need to start doing as I told them all the time. We we come here for the American dream. You have to work your American dream. Uh, that, it's not for free. A, yeah, that's a, a what I call a, in Central Texas a six beer conversation right there. <laughs> but but just going back to our local our kids local that kids have already you know lived here and resided here, here, here for, uh, uh, been residents for for a while. What, what I see the best thing is if you can create educational opportunities uh, by bringing in, you know, nursing programs, medical schools, college universities, and then you cr create a pro-business environment, most kids want to work their self out of that system. Out of the system. The, you know, whether it's social wel welfare or, or just poverty in general. They, they want to, to study, work. exactly. And, and these days, I mean, if you want to go to college or get a certificate or become a welder or, or go uh, do HVAC or electrician, There's means out there to, to borrow money or, or to get grants and loans to go to college. It's not like it was 60 years 60 ago. Years so, ago. So, so, you know, really, if, if you go to class and you do your job and you want to make it here in America and uh, you're, you're not going to college for a reason, you know, that, that's, that's on you. you. You can lead that horse to water, but you can't make you can't it make drink. drink. But what I've seen out of uh, the kids in Conroe and Conroe High School, 
95% of them want to drink. I mean, they want to drink the water. They, they want to, they, they are exceeding. Exactly. Yeah. I talked to I, Dr. Noel and Dr. Morris uh, Montgomery, and I'm telling you something. I, I'm going to be honest with you, sir. I, I'm so amazed. Not only that, Dr. Noel has the higher end on the employees. Because he's one of the highest employers in the city. That's, that's the main thing. But at the same time, they're working for our kids, you know, and they're seeing, that, like you said just a minute ago, they're seeing the Hispanic community drink from that, really becoming what they want to be. They want to get out of the ghettos. They yeah. want to get out of the neighborhoods. They want to come in and become somebody so they can go ahead and excel. Well, your, your, your businesses, our business park out there that uh, Conroe Park North, uh, I believe it's 14, 1,500 acres, I think I heard the other day we might have like 60, 80 acres left, and it's all sold out. Uh, and then our tech park uh, has uh, about 50 acres already developed and a couple hundred to be sold. But the point is, why are companies and businesses coming to Conroe? Why does everyone want to be here? Sa same reason that we, we brought our families here. But businesses come to an area for a couple things. Uh, number one is quality of life. Uh, you mm -hmm. got the beautiful lake. You got the historic downtown. You got all the shopping in the woodlands. You got the wonderful national forest, all the history. Uh, and then also quality of life. Uh, uh, housing. Security as well, sir. Our, our development guidelines, you know, we've been pro-business, pro-development mm -hmm. friendly, which creates a, a reasonably priced home. I mean, in Conroe, a home you can get for 300000 is uh, much nicer than a home you can get in, in Sugar Land or inner city for 300000 So we're trying to recruit those young families to come out here and make babies and, and prosper. Mm -hmm. And then the third thing is our labor force. So if those kids coming out of Conroe High School, that's why the businesses are coming here. And you, you mentioned, you know, Latino. I, I would say uh, half of the, the the labor force that's coming out is probably more is uh, uh, Latino Latinas, or you know, well. some type of uh, descent for sure. Él, él habla globalmente de muchas cosas. Habla sobre la, lo que la comunidad de nosotros como hispanos estamos invirtiendo en nuestros hijos. Mucho, él dice que los jóvenes que se han cre, cre, criado aquí, que han, tío, que han tenido tiempo, están yendo a las escuelas aquí. Están dando que cuando, se están dando cuenta que cuando quieren estudiar pueden hacerlo. El, due, el sueño de ellos americanos es salirse del problema de estar en las gangas, de estar en, en el medio del... Del, de los barrios pobres y llegar a tener una educación y dice el, 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 el señor Jolie que está viendo ese auge de mayoría de los jóvenes graduados de con Rojay que han, llegan y salen y van a ser becados, van a estar estudiando porque quieren estudiar, porque quieren salir adelante. Es un ajo grandísimo. Al mismo tiempo está viendo el, 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 la, el área de, de empleo de la parte médica en Conro, todos los hospitales están comenzando a surgir. Hay, están viniendo en, la, en el área de, 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 del hospital de Metodista hasta Memorial Hermann y todos ellos están invirtiendo en el área de Conro, están viviendo en el área de Conro las, los, los empleados, los trabajos están, se están produciendo automáticamente. Porque hubo muchos problemas con corporaciones grandes que vinieron acá, pero no han querido invertir en esta área, se han quedado en el área de Houston. Pero lo bonito es que, como dice él, él ha visto que se ha privatizado esta área y es lo mejor para el área de Conro. Él dice que eso lo tuvo que aprender, donde él tuvo que aprender que es mucho mejor tener todo privatizado a tener cosas gubernamentales, porque muchas veces hay muchos triggers o muchas leyes que hacen que el gobierno no pueda subsidiar o no pueda sacar los fondos para poder utilizar. Él habla sobre los préstamos estudiantiles que los jóvenes pueden tener y que esos jóvenes pueden llegar a producir trabajos. Dice que también en el área del real estate, donde las, las, las parejas prefieren ver eh, eh, lugares por lo menos como Sugarland versus aquí Conro, donde en Sugarland una casa de 300 mil dólares va a salir cara, pero el área es mala. En cambio, aquí en Conro, una casa de 300 mil dólares va a venir con todo lo que trae Conro, que es áreas de lagos, áreas de, de, de diversión, parques, administrativos, un montón de este, áreas de, de restaurantes, este, una, vida, una vida familiar y una vida nocturna para parejas jóvenes. Y él dice que entonces él ofrece en el área de Realtor, de Real Estate, por el bajo precio de las casas o bajo precio de las tasas, eh, ofrece ese tipo de ayuda para, los, para las personas que quieren vivir y quieren venir a Conro a vivir. Sir... You have a lot of work in your plate. <laughs> and I imagine, how do you balance that with your wife and your family? Because I know you have a beautiful family, sir. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hey, I mean, uh, you know, uh, as I said earlier, I'm, I'm married to a Latina. And, and you know, the, uh, these uh, uh, 
you know, Mexican American women are, are built a little bit different these days. <laughs> and so they uh, could, couldn't do it without my wife for sure. Uh, you know, I've got a good council. I mean, now um, out of our council, uh, you know, four four of the council. I mean, these are these are business people. Uh, uh, Marsha Porter, uh, ex uh, educator, ex coach, and then uh, Todd Yancey's family's been in the community providing jobs and resources for for years. I mean, this is a uh, you know like the Trumps of Conroe. Exactly. And, uh, they uh, are, are well loved and, and uh, you know built a huge company based on hard work. Came from nothing. Uh, Kurt Maddox runs one of the top. Uh, golf cart companies in in the country, uh, Howard Woods in the oil and gas business, and and uh, uh, very industrious. And then uh, uh, Councilman Hardiman, uh, background in IT and, IT. and sales and, and tech. And so when you mix you know good business minds like that together, um, it uh, usually you have a, a good product. So I've, I've had a good council to work with. And my my past council, uh, Seth Gibson was a, a surveyor, been in the industry, been in the area for a long mm. time. Uh, Raymond McDonald. Uh, uh, a pastor, a local, local minister, pastor Mary, and minister, exactly. and, and uh, just have had a lot of talent. And you know, we got in. The city was was really uh, just ripe, and it, it it had all the components. It had the you know the best hammer, the best screwdriver, the best pair of pliers uh, in the industry. And somebody just needed to bring it all together and put it in the toolbox. The toolbox, and then okay. let everyone know that we're open for business. And at the end of the day, uh, God gave me vision. And uh, he gave me a mouth to go out and promote things that I love. And I love Conroe, and this is my community, and, I mean, yep. and I'm a good promoter at the end of the day. So it was just the right time and the right, right place. And, and, but, you know, the hard work's been done. Uh, we, we, we had good planning. We had good infrastructure in place. Uh, we were blessed during the, the first part of my tenure with low interest rates. So, you know, bonds that pay for roads and, and uh, infrastructure and, and, uh, and hotels are, 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 you know, it's better when that money is. Money is, exactly. And so, uh, and then we got to, to really come together as a community during COVID. You know, that was a, a that's Let me sure. touch that subject with you in a minute because mm -hmm. I know you, you you have done so much in that part. You and, and the same thing with uh, our judge administrator. Um, you guys work so hard for us, and that's something that we saw. Correctly. Um, estoy, estamos hablando sobre la infraestructura nuevamente, vuelve sobre lo que ahora lo dice, Leo, ¿cómo lo hace manejando su familia? Porque tiene una familia, una esposa preciosísima y tiene hijos, ¿y cómo lo hace para mantener su trabajo? Y, y al, al mismo tiempo delegar todo. Dice que él, gracias a Dios, lo ha ayudado todo, se ha casado con una mujer latina, que las mujeres latinas tienen un tipo de infraestructura, ella misma completamente diferente, y que dice que eso lo ha ayudado muchísimo a él, pero al mismo tiempo dice que él tiene un buen grupo de concejales, los concejales de Sirio Conro, eh, tenemos que mencionarlos porque todos realmente han trabajado, los nuevos que acaban de venir, que con las elecciones nuevas este, entraron, que fueron el, el, el señor este, Hartman y el señor Woods, el, ellos fueron los nuevos que fueron elegidos, este, son empresariados, hombres empresarios. El señor Woods tiene su propia empresa eh, y, y lo mismo el señor Harman. Los que están antiguos, la señora Porter, que fue reelegida, tiene muchos años de experiencia, fue una educadora. Ella tiene en su mano un montón de, 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 de oportunidad de, de enseñanza para todos los demás. El señor Yates que tiene años, 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 el, prácticamente la familia de él son de los primeros aquí en el área de Conro y él tiene eso, es su, su organización ha sido tan grande que ha podido alimentarse de experiencia y traerla al concejal, este, o sea, los, los que trabajaron anteriormente con él, el, el, el pastor este, eh, McDonald's, él estuvo con él muchos años, este, o sea, hay una gama de personas que, poniendo un poco cada uno, han podido levantar la ciudad, mantener el bote a flote y al mismo tiempo ayudarnos a preservar los, los, lo que son los taxes de la ciudad más bajos que hay en el área realmente. Y al mismo tiempo los taxes que se cobran a usted por educación, los taxes que se le cobran a usted por este, las calles, las carreteras que se han construido, todas las modificaciones que se han hecho ha sido diferente a todo lo que este conjunto de, de personas que han puesto una pieza tras la otra, más lo que él ha hecho, que ha sido progresar al, en el sentido del trabajo de él, es eh, sacar la información, darla, trabajar con el gobierno. Entonces me dice, vamos a hablar sobre, me comenzó a hablar sobre lo que pasó con COVID. Le digo, que espero un momentito más que vamos a hablar con COVID en, un, en unos minutos sobre el break que vamos a tener y volvemos con ustedes. Este, we're going to have a break and uh, we'll come back with Jody again to talk about 
that part of the COVID issue that we had, because basically um, that's what we need to um, uh, touch a little bit, and we need to give him thanks for the hard job that he did with the judges and everything. So let us take a couple of minutes of break, and we'll come back with uh, Jody, uh, our major. Thank you. Hola, this is Jenny from Voces en Acción. And I'm going to talk to you guys about one of our sponsors, First Financial Bank. If you wish to purchase your own home, but you don't have a social security number, First Financial Bank can help you. Their ITIN home loan program can be a perfect option for you. They are here to help you. You can reach them at 936-439-1800. That number again is 936 439 1800. The American dream is at your reach at First Financial Bank. First Financial Bank is an equal housing lender, member of FDIC. Hola, les habla Jenny de Voces en Acción. Estoy aquí para hablar sobre un patrocinador de nosotros, First Financial Bank. El préstamo hipotecario ITIN puede ser una opción excelente para usted. Están a sus órdenes llamando al 936-439-1800. Repito, el número es 936-439-1800 y descubra cómo le pueden ayudar. El sueño americano está a su alcance en First Financial Bank, prestamista de vivienda equitativa, miembro FDIC. Thank you so much for uh, coming back to us and staying with us. Again, like I was saying before, we're talking to uh, our city Major Mr. Jody Chakowsky, and he's with us talking about the issues and the impact during the pandemic. But before we continue talking to him, I'm going to give a good shout out to our one of our sponsors, um, First Financial Bank. Uh, you know, everybody talks about getting your dream house, getting your, your, your American dream for all the Hispanic community. We do that. We think about buying a house and getting a house. Well, First Financial Bank is your neighbor friend. They're there for you to help you going through the process. They help you getting the appointments or the loans that you need. They help you search for the right uh, house for your family, regardless whether you have a paper, which it says that you're a U.S. citizen as a social security number, or you, if you don't have it, if you have a, you have an ITIN, they are able as well to help you with that because they have programs that have come to their community in regards to that. You can reach them at 936-439-1800. Um, They're there for you. You can call Susie Woods. She's our vice president for finance. And you can talk to Clarissa uh, Parker as well. Anybody on their staff will talk to you in regards to that and you can contact them. Quiero dar, este, un, antes de continuar con el señor Jody, este, quiero darle un shout out, una, especial, una gracias especiales a nuestro patrocinador eh, First Financial Bank. Ellos están con nosotros desde hace muchos años y ellos están en la comunidad trabajando constantemente para proveer los recursos, préstamos de carro, préstamos personales, pero lo más grande es comenzar a trabajar con usted para que usted tenga su propio sueño de tener su casa, no importa que usted tenga este o no tenga papeles, si tiene un ITN number, ellos trabajan con ese ITN number y pueden prestarle hasta 400 mil dólares. Hable con la señora Susy Woods, ellos hablan en español, llámelos a 936-349, um, 439, perdón, a 19, 1800, ellos hablan con usted, este, ellos pueden asociarse con usted, buscar la manera de cómo hacerle el préstamo para que usted pueda conseguir su sueño, su sueño en realidad. Están eh, respaldados por el, el, la Asociación Fiduciaria de los Estados Unidos, FDIC, y están para servirles a usted. Thank you, Jody, uh, for being with us. And I'm going to come back again and I'm going to talk about the pandemic. So there was so much learning about we closed, we didn't close, da, 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 you know, the whole thing. And the, our judge administrator did what he was supposed to be done, and you followed procedures. You did everything accordingly. And you know something? You guys saved so many lives because you did, okay? Regardless, we went close in two weeks or we, we were not close in two weeks. Hey, look at us. Our rates, it's like a flu. And I, I keep telling people, COVID is a regular flu, but people have just exaggerated. Media has exaggerated the whole pandemic, And that's my point of view. Yeah. There were people dying, yes. There were people having issues, yes. I'm not going to say that people didn't die. 
I'm not gonna say, but it could have been more control without the media being more absorbed and telling and telling the lies because the numbers were not different. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's, and unfortunately, in our society, pe people uh, have forgotten what a lie is. They they don't they don't always tell the truth anymore. Exactly. But, but uh, there are good, honest people out there as well. But no, I just I followed kind of the lead of the county judge, and and uh, it was more or less if you want to come out and you want to go to work, you want to go eat. You want to go have a cold beer? Uh, God bless you. Go do that. If you want to stay at home and, and you're concerned uh, uh, about uh, COVID and, and uh, you're fearful, fearful of your, your life, stay around the house. But, you know, don't really push your, uh, you know. The limits, exactly. Limits against, yeah. I mean, it's and it's something, everything about a choice. You know, people have their own choice. Mm -hmm. Le digo que el, el, durante la pandemia, él siguió las órdenes. Del, del, del administrador juez de, del condado del señor eh, Mark Hijo, donde se cerraron por dos semanas eh, toda el área de Conroe, se cerró todo porque teníamos que cerrar. Hay cosas que se permitían, cosas que no se permitían, pero también cuando se abrió se le dijo a la gente, ¿sabes qué? Si usted quiere salir, salga. Protéjase si usted quiere protegerse, porque es un, una elección. Los números que, que salieron de cuántos muertos habían y todo lo demás, se exageraban en, la, en, la, en las líneas muchas veces. Muchas veces no era la conformación correcta. Y mucha gente estaba siendo mal informada. El señor yo dice, hay personas que pegan mentiras, hay personas que no pegan mentiras, dependiendo de la persona que es. Pero de todos modos, los números es lo que cuenta. Ellos le, ellos le permitieron a la gente seguir su vida como querían mediante la elección de que la gente quisiera. Y mire cómo estamos ahora. Ahora, realmente no hay una pandemia. La pandemia se acabó. Aunque la gente no lo quiera creer, se acabó. Lo que hay es, sí hay brotes de este, esporádicos de COVID. Sí hay flu también. Hay, hay un montón de enfermedades. Pero es de usted cuidarse. I'm telling them, it's from them to take care of themselves. There's sickness everywhere. HIV. There always will be. Yeah. Okay? So it's, uh, it is what you want to take care of yourself, how you want to take care of yourself. You can live or you can live in fear. Okay. So the oh, and, and guess what? You know, <laughs> what I've heard, you know, the, the, the flu is back. And, exactly. And, and allergies and RSV. <laughs> exactly. And throat, all that stuff. I, I thought it would just be COVID for. No, now they're even saying that the, uh, when you kiss a baby, what's the name of that sickness that you kiss a baby and you get them sick? You cannot be close uh -huh. to babies because the baby is high rate. Everything is being exploited because yeah. now there's no, no, it's no more. Any more COVID? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. COVID has just, you know, that the 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 sickness of COVID has always existed. Yeah. Okay. And but for some reason, this happened. But it, it helped us learn yeah. to regain strength yeah. and to continue. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, they, I have friends and loved ones that, that are no longer with us, and and uh, it definitely picked on people that were, uh, uh, you know, maybe didn't have the best health ever, but. Uh, uh, life goes on, and, and uh, like I said, you can't live in fear. And yeah, yeah. I, lo I, lost, I can tell you, you're not the only one. I lost my best friend. Yeah. 41 years. Yeah. She died with COVID. Yeah, we, there, there were a couple of people that are, you know, younger and appeared to exactly. be very, very healthy. Very healthy. Just, uh, uh, my wife and, and I both, uh, family, we, we all had it, and it was uh, it was kind of like the flu. The flu, exactly. And, uh, exactly. Exactly. On, but, but, well, that's, that's something that I really, you know, like the way you guys work this out because, the, you know, right now in China, they're close. Mm -hmm. They're still close in China after yeah. three years. You know, really? Uh, that's, that's scary. It is scary. That's one thing that, you know, especially the Latino community, but we, we don't know how blessed we are here in this country. Exactly. You know, you know, I don't care if you came over on a boat like my ancestors or a train or, you know, maybe you crossed a river, however you got here, you know, crawled under a fence. But, you know, America is still... Uh, you know, one of the only countries countries and, and civilizations from Adam and Eve to now that, you know, within three years of, of being an immigrant, you know, you could put your grandchildren in the White House. I mean, exactly. You can be a, a exactly. pastor. You can be a priest. Uh, you can be a businessman. You know, the opportunities are endless, whereas, you know, in China right now or in India or Iran or, you know, you kind of stuck where you're born. You're born into a a certain class system and you're stuck there for the and rest of your life. For your life, life. you die. And we're, probably your just, kids or grandkids we're, died we're in the same system. I mean, what you and I are doing right here, you can't do that right now in communist China. No, I can't. You can't I do can. that in the Soviet Union, you know, mm -hmm. it's, uh, or Russia, so. Uh, we have know, to be blessed for that. Out that. We have it. America's not perfect. Uh, neither is my family or my church or anything, but we, we got it better than 99% of the people that Él quiere que nosotros church. sepamos lo siguiente, que lo aprendamos. Durante la pandemia hubo muchos problemas y todos pasamos. Hay demasiadas enfermedades por todos lados. En estos momentos, este, el flu volvió a salir, salió un montón de, de, de enfermedades que han salido y todavía seguimos vivos. Ahora, él dice también que hay que ver lo siguiente. Todos tenemos... Eh, 
de que ver cómo están los otros países. Por lo menos si usted, ahorita mismo le digo yo, China está cerrado. China está completamente cerrado. Son tres años que tiene cerrado China. Y China sigue ten, rep, reportando que hay COVID, que siempre hay COVID. Y están maltratando y teniendo a las personas encerradas al extremo de que no pueden ni salir de sus casas. Este, eso lo podemos ver. Lo pasan en, en, en lugares como Irak, en India, lo dice el, el señor Jody, que eh, tenemos que analizar que este país es el país de la libertad, eh, pero estamos tratando de analizar, venimos de donde vin venimos, podemos venir en un bote como vino la familia de, 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 de Poland para acá, eh, o, o cruzar el border como cruzamos muchos, ¿verdad? No importa, pero llegamos. Y en tres años usted pudo haberse ganado la lotería si quiere, o quizás trabajar tan duro que pudo mandar a su hijo a la universidad. Eso lo podemos hacer solamente aquí en los Estados Unidos. Porque ahorita mismo, como dice él, estamos hablando nosotros, hay mucha gente que ni siquiera puede tener la conversación en una radio como la tenemos ahorita. Es prohibido. Lugares como Rusia, no hay, no hay, no hay derecho de, 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 de hablar. Tienen que quedarse callados. Y en Latinoamérica lo vemos, en Cuba y en Nicaragua. ¿okay? Así que simple y sencillamente vamos a apreciar lo que tenemos. Tenemos que apreciar que venimos a los Estados Unidos, que no es perfecto, pero que tenemos libertades y tenemos que proteger esas libertades. I'm telling them that, you know, what you just said, you know, they came to the United States, they're here, they need to protect what they have, they yeah. need to look fight for what they have, and that's what, that's, that's what it is about, yeah. sir. Okay, sir, and I know your time is exquisite and it's little. <laughs> Would you like to give us some kind of advice to the Hispanic community and how can we work better for you? Because remember, you work for us, yes, but we work for you as well. Yeah. Oh, and no. your, your we, or, we work together for exactly, sure. Exactly, yeah. exactly. No, I mean, to me, the future of Texas and, and America in general is, you know, when my ancestors came here in the late 1800s, most were coming from Europe, and, and most were fair skin, blonde hair, blue eyes, and, and uh, uh, not so much these days. Most of our, our immigrants are coming from uh, South America or Central America or, or uh, um, uh, you know, probably majority from, from Mexico. And... Uh, We're just blessed to be here. We got to take care of this country. I mean, you've seen what happened in Venezuela uh, recently. That was a beautiful, wonderful country, you know, 30, 40 years ago. And ain't nothing in life free. You got to work for everything that you receive. And from what I've seen, that uh, most of my uh, Mexican American friends and family members, uh, they're very conservative people. You know, a man marries a woman. Uh, they usually have large families and reproduce because that's what God put us to, on to this do. earth to do is exactly. make babies and reproduce and multiply. Mm -hmm. Number one, let's not forget that. I think a lot of people have forgotten that. But secondly, uh, most of your Latinos are, are conservative. You know, they pay cash for their cars. They'll, they'll pay cash for most of their house. Uh, they uh, big families, uh, big traditional families, let's mm -hmm. say. Uh, majority are Christian. Majority mm -hmm. are, are Roman Catholic. You can go mm -hmm. to Sacred Heart Catholic Church with me. Where I come from, I mean, that's, that's Ronald Reagan and Republican where I came from. So it, uh, uh, you know, keep all political parties out of, out of the mix. But the point is, this is America. It's wonderful. I'll end on this. I had a, uh, a client, friend, partner in my car last weekend. He's a, a Pakistani immigrant. Mm -hmm. And a uh, self-made uh, 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 multimillionaire has done well and came over here the, the legal way. And he said, Jody, you know, I was with him. He, he is a Muslim, and, and my other friend is a, a Jewish gentleman. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Muslim, and in my faith and your faith and the Jewish faith, we all believe in an afterlife. Most, most all religions, you know, we believe in a heaven, you know, something mm -hmm. that's better than this earth in the future. Exactly. And he said, I personally, you know, I've never been there. I don't know anybody's been there. I believe in it, and I hope to go there one day, but I, I haven't seen it yet. He says, but I will tell you that me and my friends that immigrated from Pakistan and India and have had lived the American dream, we feel like that America is as close to heaven on earth as it ever could be. Oh, that's and, and, so cool. And simple as that. He's like, your kids growing up here and a lot of your uh, legal exactly. citizens, uh, they don't know how blessed they Best are. They are, exactly. And that's, that's what I want to get out and put the word is we're fortunate to be a part of this, you know, what I call Come the in. greatest civilization God has ever created. And uh, it's not perfect. Nothing is. You're always going to have evil and wickedness, but... Uh, there's good people out there, and for the most part, if you want to be something in America, you have to you, work. You for have it. to work for it, and you have to go get it. Get and it. You have to uh, take chances. And nothing is for wrong free. With risk. Exactly. No. So, él dice que God bless él, él dice que él dice que el mensaje que le deja a usted es el siguiente. Este país es el país de oportunidades. Todos venimos acá y todos tenemos la oportunidad de trabajar y conseguir lo que queremos. Soñar y producir. 
¿ok? Él dice que todos tenemos una trayectoria de vida, no importa de lo que usted crea, él dice que él es católico y él va a la iglesia, como todos nosotros, que la familia de nosotros, los hispanos, la mayoría son familias conservadoras, familias que, que, que tienen, eh, que se casa un hombre justo con una mujer, como lo manda Dios, y, y procrean una familia. Y eso es lo que él ve en la familia hispana. Ve que son una familia que trabaja y que produce, ¿ok?, y que produce y que compran sus casas en efectivo, compran sus carros en efectivo, que tienen sus propios negocios, que son emprendedores de naturaleza. Él lo ve constantemente. Él dice que eso es lo que está haciendo, que, usted, que nosotros vengamos acá y que veamos que al progresar aquí en los Estados Unidos podemos compararnos con países como Venezuela, que Venezuela cómo era hace 40, 30 años atrás, cómo era Venezuela y cómo está Venezuela ahorita mismo. ¿Por qué? Porque están dejándose influenciar por todas las malas cosas que no son, de acuerdo de él, con las cosas de Dios, ¿ok? Que hay que buscar las cosas de Dios para poder continuar en este trayectorio de mantener una, una, un país libre, un país autótomo, un país donde podamos mantener nuestros derechos, ¿ok? Y no sean quitados de nosotros. Estamos en el mejor país de los, del mundo, según el señor Jody, Dios bendiga de los Estados Unidos, porque realmente estamos en el país donde podemos decir la verdad, hablar claro y amar al prójimo y hacer lo que tenemos que hacer. Sir, it's Christmas time. You want to say Merry Christmas? Merry to Christmas. Us? Feliz Navidad. <laughs> hey, and, and ask the, the community, uh, translate if you don't mind, please come to our council meetings. We have every, every two weeks, we have a workshop on Wednesday. That's when we work through the whole agenda mm -hmm. for council. Mm -hmm. And then we have usually the uh, council meeting is the day afterwards. And, and, and sometimes it's at 930 in the morning. And other times it's at, at six. It's all, it's all on the website, easy to find. But get involved in your local government. You can actually make a difference here. This is not Washington. We actually move and get things done here in Conroe. <laughs> And, uh, you know, uh, get involved and, and run for office. You, you have the numbers. I mean, the majority of the population uh, is, is uh, la Latino and Latino, Mexican American. Exactly. So get involved, get plugged in, and, you know, don't vote for a man anytime because of his, his skin color. Vote for vote a man for, that for believes in the same values. Exactly. And, and you usually look at the way people operate. How do they handle their marriage? How do they handle their kids? Their How do lives. they handle their business? How do they handle their little league baseball team? You want true leaders, they'll, they'll tell you who they are. A man doesn't tell you, you have to tell you he's great. Just watch his actions. Dice que feliz Navidad, pero que quiere que también sepan otro mensaje. Que las puertas del concejal, de, la, de, la, de, la, de las reuniones de consejería, de, se hacen cada un martes y un martes no. Automáticamente él quisiera ver la representación de los hispanos de nuestra área, que pueden, que están, que viven en el área del City Limit de, de, de Conro y que quieren que son votantes activos. Que quiere, él quiere oír lo que ustedes tienen que decir que ustedes tienen que hablar proactivamente en las reuniones del con, de concejal, que se pueden meter directamente en la página www.cityofconro.org. Allí pueden conseguir la información, pueden ver las fechas donde se reúnen el board, el council, y él está allí. Él quiere escuchar los problemas que usted tiene, él quiere escuchar las ideas que usted tiene, él quiere que usted se participe como hispano, activo, ciudadano de los estados o residente de los Estados Unidos, donde les puede Podemos ayudar a, a, a hacer accesibles las cosas que usted necesita. Él dice que eso es lo que hace que haga un proceso. Dice que aquí sí se hacen las cosas. No estamos en Washington DC. Aquí cuando se tiene que hacer las cosas, se hacen y se toma de una vez en, en, en el, la, el criterio de la persona y se actúa automáticamente con lo que la persona trajo al plato para poder, si eso puede ser de beneficio para toda la comunidad. Acuérdense que no solamente somos la comunidad hispana, somos la comunidad anglosajona, la comunidad africamericana, la comunidad asiática y la americana. Somos muchos los que estamos aquí y estamos para quedarnos. Tenemos que trabajar en común unión no en desunión, y eso es lo que el señor Jory quiere, que todos nos unamos para que crezca Conro, para que Conro se mantenga activo. Jory, thank you so much. Dice que les dé directamente el teléfono de él, el teléfono de él es el 936-264-6103, 936-264-6103, y el email de él es j y se escribe Tchaikovsky, se escribe C-Z-A-J-K-O-S-K-I arroba cityofconro.org. A usted pueden mandarle a él 
el, el email o lo que quieran, o si hay mismo en el webpage, como se lo pone nuevamente, www.cityofconro.org. Él puede contestar cualquier, cualquier cosa, los llaman, sacan cita con él. Él está, tiene su puerta abierta para hablar con ustedes. Thank you, Jody, for your information. Thank you for being if, for if us. You can, if you can say my last name backwards, I'll give you a free beer. Oh, I won't be able to. <laughs> Dice que si, dijo, si, me, si me atrevo a decir el apellido de él al revés, que me da una, una, una cerveza, le digo, no voy a poder. <laughs> Pero bueno, ahora tomamos el tiempo para despedirnos. Muchísimas gracias por estar con nosotros. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with our major. Our major is there for all you. The phone number that you can reach him is 936-264-6103. Again, 936-264-6103. His name is Jody Shakowski and it's C-Z-A-J-K-O-S-K-I. Okay, you guys can look at that. You just go into the website of www.cityofconro.org and you can put measure on the link and automatically it will pull you his name, his pictures, and you can reach him and talk to his secretary. If you want to talk to him, he has an open door policy. He will be able to talk to you. He wants to address your issues. He wants you to join him on fixing anything that will affect Conroe as a whole. He wants to unite our community. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with Wilson's in Action. Thank you to our um, sponsor, fi First Financial Bank, again. And thank you for being part of this great United States of America. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year if I don't get to see you guys. And have a blessed day. Feliz Navidad. Que pase muy bueno. Que sea próspero el año que venga. Y nos vemos en nuestro próximo show. Gracias. Esto fue Voces en Acción, el programa comunitario que informa a nuestra comunidad latina. Voces en Acción, la verdad en acción. Voices in Action, the truth in action. Hasta nuestra próxima edición.